Hi, this is Dave Dietz. I am fortunate to be superintendent here at Harmony 175. Uh, we have some very exciting projects coming up, and namely the addition of some solar arrays. Uh, one of our solar panel projects is going to be at Harmony MG, uh, which houses Harmony Intermediate and MG Junior High, and that'll be a roof mounting system, uh, about 250 or so panels. But then our other solar project will be here at Ellis Elementary, which we are in the back part of the campus right now. And right behind me, this field that is now just grass and empty uh, will be full of about 250 panels uh, in the next few months. So we're really excited to get underway with this project. We're big into character education here. All three of our schools are national schools of character. And along with that is the belief in being responsible citizens uh, and stewards of the environment. Uh, not just the great financial implications this is going to have for the district for the next 30 to 40 years um, but also what it says in terms of what we believe in for the environment and being a greener school and district. I am Mike Raymond with the Triad School District as a director of business and communications and we are fortunate enough at Triad to be taking on a large solar project at three of our schools. Our first school is Silver Creek Elementary and it's going to be an all roof mounted project by reducing the power by almost 45 percent. Our second school is St. Jacob Elementary which is an all ground mounted project behind their school it'll be reducing by almost 75% on phase one and are at the addition of phase two by a complete 100%. Our largest project of the three is Henning Elementary, which will be done in two phases as well. Phase one and phase two will reduce the power by 100%. But the neat feature for Henning is a parking lot that will be placed on the south side of the solar field that will charge our first three electric school buses. Triad, Ele Triad School District will have three schools reducing the power at two of them at 100% and one at almost 50% and three electric school buses to reduce our energy cost and to save fuel for our district.